Welcome to episode 595 of Apartment Hacker. This is my pertinent Apartment Hacker. It's my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. Um, I want to first give a shout out to one of the, our Apartment Hacker viewers uh, and or listeners uh, on the pack podcast uh, for sending in a number of content ideas. This is uh, the second in a row uh, that, uh, that we're producing as a result of that, uh, that feedback. Keep it coming. Um, I love a Q&A style. Uh, interaction between the community. So, to the extent that you have questions, you have topics, you th- you know you're going, uh, you're getting throughout your day, and you come across an idea, throw it my way, and I'll speak about it. Uh, and if I don't have anything off the cuff or off uh, tip of tongue, top of mind, I'll research it and, and post something hopefully of value to the the entire community. Today, you're terminated, and you either were terminated for cause or without cause. First, I'll remark on without cause. Um, if if it is a surprise to you, if your termination, that is, is a surprise to you, uh, then shame on the organization, shame on you for potentially not recognizing uh, that it was time for you to exit uh, an organization. Shame on the organization in the sense that if they've not um, taken the time to clearly define <coughs> expected business outcomes, giving you the tools and the resources and clearly communicated the, the tools and the resources and giving you, uh, let's say, an ample number of chances. And who, who knows how many chances that is, but ample number of chances to correct behaviors that produce the type of outcomes that the organization is looking for. Then shame on that organization for not doing as much. Now, on the other hand, if that organization has uh, clearly defined expectations, uh, clearly giving you the tools and the resources uh, to get it done and clearly giving you the opportunity, um, whatever number that is again, to produce, then it should be of no surprise to you that you would be terminated uh, for cause. Um, now, how do you handle the impact of being terminated with cause or without cause? First, I think it is a, a fantastic time to sit back and reflect. Now. Prior to reflecting, you're going to go through the four stages of grief. You're going to be shock and awe. You're going to be mad. Uh, you're going to uh, get depressed. And then you're going to finally accept the fact that you were terminated. But on the heels of that, and that, that's different for everybody, that time frame, different for everybody. On the heels of that, you need to sit back and take some time to actually uh, reflect and um, take in the hard lessons from that particular experience um, if you can, if you still have a conduit to the organization that let you go, uh, p- please reach out. As hard as that may be, please reach out and try to understand on a deeper level uh, why it was that, that you were terminated, if you don't understand that. But if you do understand it, reflect on it, uh, sit down and get yourself prepared to move into the next opportunity, uh, more well prepared to be successful. Um, there's... Listen, I, th- I think uh, my life is steeped in faith and uh, I believe in my heart of hearts that things happen for a reason. Fundamentally, they just happen for a reason. And if you've kept your side of the street clean and you've uh, done business with integrity and honesty and an event like that happens to you, the, the next event is right on your horizon. It, it, the door will open. As soon as one door closes, another will open. Um, And it is by design, Uh, at least from my view of the world, it's by design. So take the lessons from that particular opportunity that you were involved in and understand why you were let go from it and then uh, put things in place to ensure that the next opportunity that you get into uh, will be a successful one for you. Hope that helps. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.